Hello, I am Mudita, and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is episode 2 of the Load Balance playthrough, and today I'm going to tackle wire and cable. I have just about all the alternate recipes available at this point, and so I'm going to take advantage of the iron wire recipe to utilize more of the numerous iron nodes in the grassy fields. I'm going to be using this spot right here. I know at the end of the last video I mentioned the spot right over there, but this is a little bit closer and I changed my mind. So I'm going to be taking advantage of this normal node. And as far as what we're making, so let me put the graphic on the screen. So to go over quickly, we're going to be pulling out 100 iron ore from this node. We're going to be using four smelters to turn into iron ingots. We're going to turn all of that into 180 iron wire. 60 of it we're going to send straight into storage. The other 120 wire will be sent into two constructors to make 60 a minute of cable and that will be sent into our storage. So as far as the blueprints go, we're going to be utilizing our four smelters, our four constructor blueprint, twice to get the eight constructors for wire. And then we'll also be using just a simple two constructor setup for the cable. And like last time, we'll be using our floor miner and just the normal 6x6. I probably won't be using an 8x8 until blenders and manufacturers. So let me clear this up and let me show you what it's going to look like with the empty tower. And then we'll build some machines. And now that the tower is done, let's get all the machines placed. So I want to start backwards again and work my way forwards. So by that, I mean I'm going to place the last step because I want the cables to face this way. Okay, and so let's go through the numbers real quickly. So this is where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. So we need 100 per minute. So mark two going up to here. It splits out. So 100 across the four machines is 25 each. So let's make sure we get those underclock correctly and then these will come up here but I actually don't need to join these because since I'm splitting it into two floors it's basically already split there's no point in merging those so what we're gonna do let's see since these are each on these lines I am going to bring one up here one up here and we'll just have the left one go all the way up. So that means each one of these is putting out 50, so we only need mark one belt. Come up to here. This one will point inwards. Come to there. This one then goes to the top floor. Point that in. And there we go. And let's set these for our iron wire. And these are all clocked to 100%. All right, and then as far as the next part goes, we're going to delete this one and flip it around. Get these, so since each one is outputting 22.5, this is 45, this is 45, so we're fine with all Mark 1s up until, so this is gonna go 
Let's see if we right past the halfway mark. Except for that's definitely in the wrong spot. There we go. This needs to be marked too. Because this is going to have 90 on it. So we join up our 90 with our other 90. And then we go ahead and take our splitter. I like to leave a gap instead of putting them right next to each other. So this has our full 180, so we need a Mark III belt here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab a merger. I'll just set a merger in line right there. And so 180 splitting three ways is 60, 60, and 60. So that will leave this one. I'll put it to there because I think we're going to run it out this way somewhere. So that's the 60 that's going to storage. And then we split it all three ways. So 60 and 60. Here's our 120. And... Well, it would be a little bit more convenient if we just keep this lined up. So let's just put this right, I believe, right there. Let's see how that works out. So this needs a mark two. And there we go. Cable at 100%. The two machines will make 60 a minute. All right, so now everything is belted up. I'm just gonna run the wire and figure out the belt work to get that into storage. And then we can turn it on and watch it all come to life. So let me tidy that up. I'll be right back. With everything in place and my bus set up to take me right around the first factory and bring us right in over there. Let's get this connected and watch it come to life.
I now have 60 wiring cable per minute heading to my storage with the smart splitter for overflow all done. The next video is actually going to be this tower. I've already completed it and did the recording a little out of order. So look forward to the tower that will be making iron plates, iron rods, and screws all at 60 per minute. And thanks for watching. Straight through it. Ugh. I'm going to have to download that mod.